and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know it's been a while since I made a video. That's because so much has been happening the past month and I can't wait to share those updates with you all the next month. There is just so much happening. I'm so excited to let you guys know about all of it. But Avira is now four months old. I honestly feel like time just flew. And one of the most frequently asked questions that you guys have given me are what are my newborn essentials? Now that it's four months, obviously I can share some of the essentials that I've been living with day in and day out. Some of these things are stuff I cannot go a day without. So I can't wait to share these with y'all. Keep watching. So before I get into the newborn essentials, I have to address one thing that we have to take care as much as we do of our babies. And what is that? Us, the new moms. What is one thing that you've been missing the most as a new mom? Sleep. <laughs> I think that's universally the answer that we would all give as new moms. They say sleep when the baby sleep, but honestly, during the day, there's so many household chores that you'll have to attend to, so you can't sleep then. During the nights, the babies are generally with gas or growth spurts or any of that, so they're awake, so we need to stay awake. That saying is not doable, it's easier said than done, so sleeping when the baby sleeps is almost impossible. So that kind of means as new moms, we barely get any sleep at all. And for that, I have been particularly using this under eye cream by Vilva. So this under eye cream by Vilva has been a rejuvenating solution to target the delicate skin under my eyes for dark circles, fine lines, wrinkles and even puffiness. The result is healthier looking skin which is brighter, firmer and more toned. It's a non-greasy gel cream formula which helps restore skin elasticity, adds smoothness and firmness to the skin. The under eye cream comes with the goodness of bamboo, goji berry, pyrocantha and a plant derived wrinkle corrector dipalmethoyl hydroxyproline. Your skin feels tighter, denser and looks rejuvenated. It minimizes darkened and stressed appearance around the eyes. No sulfates, no silicones, no parabens, no artificial fragrance, no harsh chemicals, no glycols, no GMOs and absolutely no animal testing. Use my code DISHA20 for a 20% off on Vilva's official website and the first 500 people to use my code will be able to get the discount. So what are you waiting for? Go hurry up! So back to my newborn essentials, the number one product on my list is my white noise machine. I cannot stress enough about how this is so important when you have a newborn at home. The white noise machine basically, as I've said, plenty of times before mimics the sound that's in the womb and also cuts off all different noise when the baby is trying to sleep or is sleeping and helps the baby sleep much much longer so there's quite a lot of um, different sounds in this particular machine they have uh, not just white noise there's a wave sound there is air a uh, lot of uh, sounds that can calm the baby down in general and also this is this entire thing lights up like a night lamp so it's fantastic by the bedside i've been using this non-stop throughout when avira is slipped is asleep through the day and uh, this one I got from Freebirds they sent it over as a little gift before Avira's arrival and it is one of the best things to have with a newborn and this is one of my absolute must-haves another question I've been asked multiple times is the diapers that I use so for Avira I haven't started cotton diapers as yet but for Vian I have I use ones by super bottom only and uh, he's not fully toilet trained I'm letting him just grow into it himself and start telling me when he wants to use the restroom I'm not forcing him into the habit so I use cotton diapers in the evening for Vian if not he's on Pampers Pampers works really great for both my kids I've never had them have any rashes this is a tape style one not the pants style one because it's just easier to change take off I just find it hard to pull down the pants or tear down the pants one so it's really hard for me tapes have always been really easier so these are the ones that I use for both of them and rash creams now there are plenty of rash creams and I know it's not a general habit to use them every day but I kind of do uh, just to keep that area really neat and clean uh, because they are very prone to infections as kids because of 
diaper usage so I pretty much use them every day you can use lighter ones from Mustela or this one from Burt's Bee you can use these uh, for every day they're fantastic and they do help not get a lot of rashes or infections early on another question that you guys have really been interested to know about is my baby's skincare now uh, i don't really use a lot of products for their skincare but i do expose them to multiple brands so that early on they can sort of be exposed to all sorts of products and their skin isn't too sensitive generally baby products are made for extremely delicate skin so it's okay for you to experiment and make sure you know do test patches on the baby and then see if everything works out so far all the brands that i've used have worked really well with vian as well as avida skin but one of the brands that I have been using non-stop through and through every time I get the stock is Burt's Bee. Burt's Bee is fantastic. It has a really nice fragrance to it. I don't like to use the non-fragrant ones because sometimes I like the smell. So I use this one by Burt's Bee. Really, really nice. I've been using this for Vian since the time he was born. This is a shampoo come uh, body wash, so I don't use separate products, both in one. The other ones that I have been experimenting with apart from Burt's Bee is this one by Baby Organics. Another one is Baby Bum and the last one is Bioderma. Uh, some of these I got them uh, recently when my mother-in-law was traveling from Singapore. I got these down from there because some brands you don't find here but Aveeno is another really good brand that I've used on Vian multiple times that is available very easily. Even this is easily available, the Burt's Bee. If you're uh, looking at a store then the baby shop in Indranagar has a lot of stock of Burt's Bee and if you're looking for it online then there are some websites like Baby Amor that have these as well. Apart from body washes and shampoos of course we use a lot of moisturizers as well and I use the moisturizers that come with the same brands. I use the same ones. Burt's Bee like I said one of my favorites smells fantastic go with the original flavor and it smells really good so I use the Burt's Bee one but I've also been experimenting with uh, California Baby and Baby Bum and they're good too. So as I am talking about skincare, another product that is with me in my diaper bag on the go at all given times is a mosquito repellent. There are mosquitoes no matter where you go and it's the flu season and you gotta be as careful as you can. So this one is by Kiko and it's a spray. You do get fabric roll-on um, uh, repellents by Goodnight that are also pediatrically tested. Um, there are plenty of other ones that you can use and I feel like pretty much all of them work. Uh, they're all really good. There's one by Mama Earth as well. They all work. They all do well. So I think it's a must have to just carry in your bag because it's just safer to have this in your bag at all times. The next absolute essential for a newborn would be swaddles. Most of the swaddles that I use for Avira are from Rattle and Co. I love their prints. Apart from their prints, I really also like the quality of cloth that they've used. It's super duper soft on the baby's skin and your baby doesn't feel too hot if you if she's completely wrapped up or you know uh, if she's just breezily sleeping in her bassinet and you've just put it over her it doesn't get too hot but it keeps her warm enough so i like these by rattle and co apart from rattle and co you can also get some fantastic fantastic swaddles from be little from sunshine baby there are quite a few of them out there just make sure that the measurement of the swaddles are good because some of them come in a really tiny size and you can't really wrap the baby entirely but you can just put it over the baby. So I feel like we need to look at the sizing of the swaddles that really helps with choosing the best one. For working moms, obviously a breast pump is an absolute essential. For moms that don't have to step out so often, I'm sure is not really important. It wouldn't really be so helpful but I invested in a Medela Freestyle a while ago and it's been a lifesaver. After Vian, I was shooting when he was four months old and I was pumping on set and sending it to my mom uh, in my salt <laughs> and feeding him bottles. And even now that's happening when I have to step out, I pump, I have to go pick up Vian from school or anything like that. Mom's around, I leave a bottle for her to feed Avira. So it's really, really helpful and important for me. Uh, this is on the expensive side, but there are a lot of brands that have um, slightly better 
your prized uh, breast pumps which work just as well so i think it's a really big vast there are a lot of brands that you can look at when it comes to a breast pump the bottles i use the most to feed a vera are these two one is by komotomo and the other one is by philip both of them are really really good the philips one has options for the nipples which are for 3 months or 6 months plus there's also one by dr browns which is really really good they also have different sizes of nipples for the baby's growth which i think is a fantastic option as well these are ones that i use for a vera my favorite baby liquid cleanser so far has been this one by mimi you can clean absolutely everything of your babies with this from rattles to teethers to bottles anything that the baby puts in the mouth is cleanable by this and i swear by this i've been using it from the aunt's time so it's been 3 years since i've been using this there's always stock of this at home this one by mimi is really good since i do a lot of bottle feeding for avira bibs are another absolute essential i like these by mother care particularly why because they have this lining inside which kind of uh, does not let any leaking happen it prevents any sort of leaking mainly because of the lining uh, the other bibs that i've generally bought are of a single layer and the cotton sort of gets wet uh, with the milk so it's really hard to use the single layered ones i prefer these because of the lining inside no leakage absolutely clean so i really hope these essentials of mine help you in your parenthood journey in some little way if you have any more further questions for me please drop them down in the comments below and i'll be happy to answer them have a nice day